Welcome to Dave's new podcast. I'm continuing to read a book by a guy called Eugene Peterson, and the book's called Eat This Book. The title is taken from several different bits in the Bible, where people are told to literally eat the word that God is giving them, written down on a scroll. In one particular place, what happens is it's described as being sweet and really tasty uh, in the mouth when you put it in your mouth you know tasting really good but then when the guy swallows it it gives him a stomach ache it actually makes his guts hurt and one of the things that Peterson points out is that you know when you come to the bible it's not an easy read and there are bits of it which are comforting and encouraging and uplifting and sweet to read but actually the more you delve into it you find there's a lot in the bible to struggle with a lot that's strange it's not an easy read and it takes us to difficult places with uh, hard questions some people say that the bible is full of answers and it certainly does have answers in it but it's also full of all the questions too and it encourages us to ask the questions and to wrestle with the questions another thing that he another analogy that he uses to describe the bible is he says it's like a garden or a fun fair, or something like that. It's it's like a place you go into. Like any garden, it's full of both flowers and weeds, all growing at different rates, all alongside each other. And Jesus uses that analogy at one point. He says that the kingdom is a place where weeds and wheat grow alongside each other. And it's not necessarily our job to go around just spotting the weeds and pulling those up, but rather to make our way through this kingdom, which is full of the good and the bad, and to wrestle with it all. Or if it's like a fairground, you know, it's like a place full of light and darkness and people with good intentions and bad intentions and noisy children and quiet children and criminal adults and and non-criminal adults, you know, it's all that sort of thing, really. It's full of all kinds of things. And we make what we're invited to do with the Bible is to enter it, not to use it to qualify arguments not to use it to, in a sense, uh, just find all the particular bits that make our own point, but rather to find our story in its story. The Bible is a much bigger story than normality. It's a much bigger story than life. And rather than us squeezing it into our lives, what does it mean for us to find our life in the Bible? And the other thing I've just been uh, reading in there is this, that There are no avatars in the Bible. What I mean by that is um, we will truly find ourselves within it. Not a Christian version of ourselves, not a spiritual version of ourselves, not in a sense a sinful or bad version of ourselves. We'll find our true selves if we really try and engage with it. That's not to say we have to be, you know, really wise people or learned people or educated people just to simply engage with the Bible and let it be what it is. In this age of Facebook and all that sort of thing, which I'm a big fan of, uh, it's very easy to create a persona. People create cool names for themselves. You know, they want to look good, they want to sound good. And if you stretch it to its limits, then people create a whole different persona, an avatar of themselves. Well, the Bible isn't like that. You cannot create a persona. It, It won't flatter you. It won't pander to the uh, just the good side of you. It won't take a photo of just the best bits. And that's because every part of us matters. Not just the good bits, not just the bits that will sound great and look good to other people. Every bit of us matters to God. And we will find every bit of ourselves within the Bible. But it's not an easy read. But we are invited into that journey. Thanks very much for listening. That was Dave's podcast.